Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued a circular stipulating the official holiday for Eid al-Adha. On the occasion of Eid al-Adha, all ministries, departments and public institutions will be closed on Monday, Arafah Day, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, the three days of Eid. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has ordered His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs and chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organisation, the RCO, that the RCO be in charge of preparing and sending relief materials and providing assistance to affected Indians. His Majesty the King issued directives to accelerate the provision of support and assistance to India to help the needy in their plight caused by heavy rains and floods that extensively damaged infrastructure and homes in the state of Kerala. Based on the directives, His Highness Sheikh Nasser ordered the RCO Secretary General Mustafa Al Said to take all necessary measures in coordination with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Defence, the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Labour and Social Affairs and to liaise regularly with the Indian Embassy in Bahrain and the Indian community from Kerala. Al Said said that in light of the dire humanitarian disaster in India, caused by heavy rain and continuous floods and the high number of victims and in light of His Highness Sheikh Nasser's directives for prompt action, contacts have been established with several concerned institutions to implement them in line with humanitarian bonds between Bahrain and the international community and the positive relations between the Kingdom and India. Indian Ambassador to Bahrain, Alok Kumasina, expressed gratitude for His Majesty the King's noble initiative and appreciation of the government's gestures and paid tribute to the humanitarian role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. He said that Bahrain has always been amongst the first countries to offer relief and assistance to affected peoples and countries. Information Affairs Minister and Board of Trustees Chairman of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, the BIPD, Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi, has asserted that the tremendous efforts exerted by Saudi Arabia to ensure the success of the Hajj session each year is an extraordinary success story, of which both the Arab and Muslim nations are proud. In a statement to Al-Shak al-Awad newspaper, the minister said that the world pays homage to Saudi Arabia and admires its great Hajj achievements, as well as accurate planning and implementation. Aramehi highlighted Saudi Arabia's special care for the holy sites as well as the keenness to harness all official capabilities and human potentials to remove all obstacles and difficulties that may face Hajj or Umrah pilgrims. The Minister lauded the great service provided by Saudi Arabia to enable pilgrims to perform the rituals easily and comfortably, wishing the government of the custodian of the two holy mosques a successful Hajj season. Commenting on Qatari authorities' prevention of the Qatari people from performing Hajj, Aramehi stressed that the Qatari regime is more keen on sports teams' participation in sporting events in Saudi Arabia than on its people's performance of the fifth pillar of Islam, Hajj. Aramehi pointed out that the Qatari regime has been committed to participating in a number of sporting events in Jeddah, Abu Dhabi and Manama and has used non-Qatari aircraft to transport his sports teams there, but prevents his people from performing the holy pilgrimage using Qatar Airways as a mere pretext to carry on its deplorable attempts to politicise Hajj. The Minister emphasised that such a flagrant step is no longer accepted by the brotherly Qatari people, whose citizens are proud of Islam, their Arab identity and their close relations with Saudi Arabia.